in this video, we will show you how to use what's known as a widget to answer questions involving linear combinations of normal random variables. First of all, a definition. If we let random variables X and Y be independent normal random variables, and A and B are constants, then the combined random variable AX plus BY is also normally distributed. And since random variables X and Y are independent, we can therefore say that E of AX plus BY is AE of X plus BE of Y, and VAR of AX plus BY is A squared VAR of X plus B squared VAR of Y. Firstly, an example, this one taken from Cambridge. The time taken to prepare a house for painting is known to be normally distributed with a mean of 10 hours and a standard deviation of four hours. So we're going to let random variable capital X represent the time taken to prepare the house. The time taken to paint the house is independent of the pre preparation time. It's also normally distributed with a mean of 20 hours and a standard deviation of three hours. We're going to let random variable capital Y represent the time taken to paint the house. We want to find the probability that the total time taken to prepare and paint the house is more than 35 hours. Go to the next page and what we have here um, is a prepared one page notes application called a widget. And in this exam series, there will be a video dedicated to showing you how to uh, form a widget, how to access a widget, how to save a widget, and how to use a widget. So what we have here is we have um, all our uh, figures are all housed in what I called uh, math boxes. So for example, that's a math box. And in a notes page, a math box is accessed by pressing Control M, Control M for a math box. So uh, what we see here is Harking back to our example, we know that uh, we know that a equals one and b equals one. So in effect, what we're doing is we're saying that um, e of x plus y is e of x plus e of y. So e of x plus y is going to equal 30, which is 10 minutes plus 20 minutes. Var of x plus y is var of x plus var of y. These are because a equals one and b equals one. And so var of x plus y is equal to 5 squared or 25, which means that the standard deviation of x plus y is equal to 5. And therefore, what we want to do is if we go back, we're asked to find the probability that x plus y is greater than 35. And this is already been set out for you. So we're showing you that... Um, the blue is the input and the green is the output. So A and B both equal one. Uh, e of X, as we said, is equal to 10. E of Y is equal to 20. Var of X is equal to four squared, which is 16. Var of Y is three squared, which is nine. Then what we've done here, notice that throughout we've used the assign command and the assign command is accessed by pressing control and then the symbols template. We can assign the new means to be A times uh, E of X plus B times E of Y. So um, we, we get a value of 30. The new standard deviation is the square root of A squared times bar of X plus um, B squared times bar of Y. And in this, in this instance, A equals one and B equals one. Our lower value is 35. Our upper value is infinity. And so our probability is um, calculated using the normal CDF command, where we've typed in LV, which is the lower value, UV, which is the upper value, comma, the new mean, comma, the new standard deviation, and we get an answer correct to four decimal places of 0.1587. Now that's quite a way down the bottom of the widget. I've also got a math box here. Um, see, if you have a look at the bottom there, we've got probability has been assigned as that. And here, if I press enter inside that math box, it will give us that value 0.1587 correct to four decimal places. So that's how one has been uh, used already, if you like. But what we'll do now is we'll show you a new example and we'll change the values for A and B for the 
mean of X, mean of Y, et cetera, et cetera, and show you how to answer such a question uh, in the exam. So if we go to the next page, here's our second example. The weights of oranges produced by a farm may be assumed to be normally distributed with a mean of 205 grams and a standard deviation of 10 grams. The farm also produces lemons whose weights may be assumed to be normally distributed with a mean 75 grams and standard deviation 3 grams. Find the probability that the weight of a randomly chosen orange is more than three times the weight of a randomly chosen lemon. Now these questions, um, you need to be able to uh, interpret what the question is asking. And once you've interpreted it correctly, then the widget will be of a huge uh, assistance. We'll let random variable capital X represent the weight of a random orange. And we'll let random variable capital Y represent the weight of a random lemon. So in this instance, if we uh, let Z, a new random variable, be a linear combination of X and Y, we can let random variable capital Z be equal to X minus 3Y. And what we're after is we're after, in this instance, um, the probability that um, X minus 3Y is greater than zero, or in other words, the probability that Z um, is greater than zero. So let's now uh, get our widget. Our widget is set up ready to go. But these figures are from that example involving painting the house. Um, so let's say you've been given this question about um, oranges and lemons in the exam. You call up your widget and that will be shown to you in the corresponding video on how to call up a widget. And what we do now is we just fill in the field. So um, what we have is we have A equals one. We click in here for B and we change uh, one to negative three and press enter and notice that the probability is updated it's currently not the correct answer um, the mean weight of an orange was 205 press enter make sure inside every single math box you press enter each time um, the mean of a randomly chosen lemon is 75 mean weight press enter uh, the variance for the oranges, 10 squared, press enter. And the variance for the lemons, three squared. So that stays the same. Right, so what we see now is we see that our new mean is equal to negative 20. So how would we find that? Basically, that's 205, so one times 205, minus three times 75, so that gives you negative 20. And then the new standard deviation, which here is the square root of 181, what that is, is that's um, one times 10 squared plus three squared times three squared. So that's 100 plus 81, which is 181. We're after the square root of 181. Now, in this instance, uh, the lower value uh, is not 35, it's uh, zero, because we want to find the probability that X minus 3Y is greater than zero, the probability that Z greater than zero. Our upper value is infinity, and if you're not sure where you find infinity, that would be accessed by pressing the pi button. And it's automatically calculated for us that the probability um, is uh, correct to four decimal places, 0.0686. And so we go up here um, and that's our answer. So I'm just hoping that you see um, how beneficial these prepared widgets are so that when you get a question such as this, you've got a widget ready to go and that you can um, correctly interpret the question, fill out the math boxes, remembering to press enter each time and um, the uh, solution uh, should appear for you um, quite um, efficiently and, and accurately. And also be aware that if questions are worth more than one mark, it's important to um, show your working.